Coral Gables leaders, uh, just one example of the absolute catastrophe economically that is being caused us by the Saudi uh, Arabian government ditching this, the U.S. Saudi petrodollar and why I believe we need, therefore, to make one or even possibly two city resolutions uh, first one calling for a ceasefire. Uh, so here's the example. Um, b while the United States, due to the petrodollar, requiring anyone buying oil to do so in U.S. currency, so we get a cut, and uh, it puts us, it put in the past tense, uh, it got us out of the Great Recession. How so? We were able, being at the very top, to print money without limit. Uh, so, um, uh, and I, I had communication with the Federal Reserve Bank. They agreed with me. I, I gave them a, a three-point solution to the uh, mortgage meltdown. And uh, the, the public information officer told me, yes, my plan works. It turned out they had already implemented, but, but I, I've had to, out of desperation, study these big issues and they, they ratified my plan to end the mortgage meltdown. Um, now, uh, what did they do? They printed, uh, as far as I can tell, um, I think like uh, $19 billion, which is so much, so extraordinarily beyond even our existing national debt. So they printed money uh, so-called created money uh, to get us out of the Great Recession. And guess what? Uh, Saudi Arabia now having ditched uh, the, the petrodollar with good reason because we're committing genocide. Uh, but Netanyahu and Biden have killed 15,000 innocent Gaza children and over 34,000 civilians in Gaza, and I don't think they're going to stop until they've got all 2.3 million Arabs in Gaza eliminated from the face of the earth. Um, and so Saudi Arabia says, if that's the way you want to treat Arabs, you want to kill our children, uh, goodbye petrodollar. Now, um, I don't know if I've got my point out there, but think about this. How did we recover from the Great Recession? by being able to print money. We can't do that anymore. And so if the city passes a ceasefire resolution, joining 50 other major cities that have done so, uh, I already mentioned uh, St. Louis, Chicago, Detroit, San Francisco, Atlanta, um, <clears throat> and as far as I know, at least 45 others, um, we send a message, stop the genocide. If we really want to get through to the Saudi Arabian government to, to potentially open the door to them reinstating the petrodollar, I think we need to do far more, starting with, um, and, and the thing is, this, this impacts cities, right? If, if we don't recover from the Great Recession, where would we be now? Um, this, is, this is a battle. I don't think, uh, do, do you follow my logic here? Um, we all go into a deep recession that we can't print our way out of. Do you follow what I'm saying? Um, so uh, the, the second resolution that I urge you all to ponder, I mean, it's really basically we're saying, do we want bankruptcy or do we want a resolution trying to stop the genocide? And by the way, if anyone doubts there is a genocide going on, it's because you're reading the wrong news. Uh, read... Go, go to X, formerly Twitter, and subscribe to the United Nations News. Subscribe to Antonio Guterres, who's the Secretary General of the United States. Subscribe to Francesca Albanese, who's the uh, point person for the past 30 years on Palestine. And you'll see every single day kids are being murdered by Biden and Netanyahu. Um, where am I going with this? Why should we pay? for the, those war crimes. Let's get out from under it by passing city resolutions so that 
if, if we pass a second resolution that I'm proposing, actually, there's three. I'm, I'm going to add another one because I don't think we want to face the consequences of being punished for the act, the war crimes of Netanyahu and Biden. Um, this I'm going to add a third one here. And you may think this is radical, but nothing more radical than going into a depression. Um uh, the second one I've already articulated, which is that we call upon the resolved, we call upon the United States government to stop supplying arms or money for offensive purposes to the uh, state of Israel. And then the third one, uh, and and I know this will be upsetting to people, but it's not as upsetting as going into the the second uh, depression which I think is possible that we're, we're facing. We don't have the ability now to print money to get ourselves out of a jam. That's how we've gotten ourselves out of the jam for the past 50 years. That option is gone. We're just like any other country. <clears throat> um, so um, the third one is, and I'm not saying you're gonna do this, but uh, I think that's what, would, what it would take to get, to, to get the sympathy of Saudi Arabia that there should be, this is my opinion, uh, Nuremberg trials, war crimes tribunal over this genocide. After, after Hitler carried out his genocide and <clears throat> killed you know, all these people all around the world, um, there was a war crimes tribunal, the Nuremberg trials. I personally think there should be, why should we suffer for the crimes of Netanyahu and Joe Biden. We gotta get it off our back, dig our way out. That's just my opinion.